Well, tomorrow I can get up on the trails and that ridge behind me can't wait. And you can see a little bit of the southern part of Jackson Hole and our snow our snow lines, that snow line's probably 8,000 feet, so there's still going to be a lot of time before I can get in the Tetons. Let's talk run personality. If you have my book, The Cool Impossible, you know that I had a chapter that devoted part of it to a handful of run personalities that help kind of create awareness and diving deeper to really detect strengths and weaknesses within your personality that can help your training, your racing, and your joy of running. So you just kind of just get a little bit more in tune with what really motivates you, what keeps you happy with running, and maybe what holds you back based on your personality. If we take a step back and look at maybe the bigger picture and not segmented out by these personalities, through my 25 years of coaching, I've kind of seen two types of athletes. One athlete is the one that's motivated by doing one thing and doing it well and continuing to get better. A perfect example would be maybe chasing a marathon qualifier, Boston, New York, what have you. So you're, you're just kind of doing that same distance over and over and over, looking to get as good as you can get. On the other side of that is kind of what I call the adventure athlete, where they're looking to maybe be motivated by different experiences. Maybe they do a couple Ironmans and then they do some adventure racing and then they go to ultra running. Or hey, they, they love that 5K, but they're gonna try a marathon and go back and forth between really short and long. It's just a lot of diversity that keeps them kind of motivated and they, they enjoy change. And I bring this up to not say one is better than the other because it's not. All running is good, we're all runners. And if we quit putting labels on them, that, that would be a good thing. But within these two personalities, start to see and maybe detect which one are you. And what's key for longevity and happiness and joy with running is to have this awareness of what motivates you. What personality are you? What drives you? What helps you get up every day to go for that run that ultimately is gonna kind of shape that day for you? And foster that and be okay with your personality and what makes running fun for you and don't compare it with what other people are doing and forcing you to think you need to do something that maybe someone else is doing or what social media recommends that really pulls you out of your personality and doesn't create joy for your running so ask yourself what are you are you kind of that that adventure type of runner or that one that hey looks to just kind of foster one thing and just keep getting better and better at it. And then continue to see how that kind of comes up with your running day to day and that's gonna feed on itself and that's gonna give you more and more confidence to keep chasing what makes run fun for you. And ultimately, the more fun we have, the longer we'll run, the more longevity we'll have. We'll find ways to reinvent ourselves to continue to have that motivation to go for a run for as long as we want through our life. All right, quick one today, and I'm a little dehydrated. Kind of, it's, it's, it's 70 degrees, which is 20 degrees warmer than it has been. So um, got to kind of get on that hydration when I get home. So, all right, over and out from Jackson Hole, Born to Run World. See you guys next time. See ya.